Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm the Gerbil. Sorry for my long absence. I am visiting family for the first time in many years back in America. In fact, I'm in my dad's chair right now. But I thought that this would be a great opportunity to jump back into things. So this is Ewoks versus Imperial Troopers Galactic Challenge. Before we get into strategy, let's pause right here because there are a couple things you gotta know. First off is the event special. When that thing hits 100%, you and the enemies can instantly kill any target. So manipulate your turn order to where to ensure you get to utilize it. How do you do that? Well, thanks to the new quality of life update, you can actually see who's coming in what order. And remember, that is not fixed. You can jump ahead based on Terminator manipulation, which Ewoks do a lot, like right here. Poplo calls in Ewok uh, Chirpa to assist. This should be your opening move so that he can use the swarm attack why? Well, not only is that going to give you speed up, every time an Ewok ally uses a basic ability, including himself, they gain 20% turn meter. That's how you're going to jump and get a train to keep ahead of the Imperial Troopers. Now, this is tier 10 of the Galactic Challenge, and the worst thing that can happen to you is getting dazed, like we are now, because you lose all your assists. So you want to try to ensure that you keep Ewok Elder alive at pretty much at all costs, and so that he can cleanse that daze off your team and get you back into the swing of things. So right now you can see we've got the event special. It's all ready to go. I'm choosing Piet because he's probably the beefiest on here and we pop him once. Now, who who should you open your target? Like, who, What's the kill order? I'm going after General Veers and Gideon primarily because they are the, the weakest characters on the enemy side, which means you will be able to kill them through damage uh, more easily. Piet seems to be incredibly thick, of course, as our uh, stormtrooper and snowtroopers a lot thicker. So, um, things to remember as you're doing this. One, manipulate your turn order through the use of basics. Again, every basic yields a 20% turn meter boost to the, uh, to the Ewok using it. Secondly, every time Chirpa attacks an enemy with 50% or more turn meter, he gains an additional, I think, 30%. I'm not entirely sure. I need to look at the kit. The point is, when Chirpa basics on an enemy with 50% or more turn meter, he gains an incredible amount of turn meter, which makes him incredibly fast. And you want that so that you can continue to do the mass swarm assists and his own, uh, the second ability, which gives everybody uh, retribution and... Um, the the healing he heals everybody now the retribution is very very important because again when they counter attack they use their basic they gain 20 percent turn meter um so that 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 it's just all about that turn meter and controlling the turn order now wicket um you're going to want to use his second special calling an ewok to assist and you're almost 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 always going to want to target Ewok Elder with that. Yes, Poplu's basic can like remove taunt or anything from the enemy, but that doesn't really matter in this event. If you do get trapped behind a taunt and you feel you have to get past that and Poplu is like far down in the turn order, then yeah, Wicked can call him into assist to clean it so that you can go back on Gideon or Veers, but no, you primarily want to call Ewok Elder to assist. Why? because Wicked's second special will put the assisting Ewok into stealth and you need to keep Ewok Elder alive at all costs. He will revive your entire team so long as he's not killed with the event special. If the enemy manages to use the event special on you that, that Ewok cannot be revived, you might as well back out and just restart. Uh, I had to do that twice before I caught on to, oh, so that's how this works, right? So once you get the hang of that and you're controlling the flow of the game, and you, you are managing the event special, it, it gets pretty easy. Another thing to keep in mind, another reason why you wanna call Ewok Elder to assist and keep him in cell through Wicket, is that he has a pretty high chance of giving the entire team 25% turn meter every time he uses a basic. So again, you want Chief Chirpa to call him through the mass swarm assist, you want uh, Wicket to call him through the targeted assist, and between those two things, you're going to be able to keep the turn meter train going. Now, my Ewoks are all Relic 7, just FYI. I do believe this is sincerely doable, maybe as low as Relic 2 or 3. Gear 12, I don't think that you're gonna survive the AoEs. 
uh, and really honestly at Relic 2 it may be hard to survive the AoEs from the enemy. So let's look at modding real quick and we'll see how I've modded my Ewoks because I guarantee you've modded yours wrong. Uh, almost everybody mods them wrong. Uh, if you're following the SWGOH.GG guide, which is normally great, you're wrong. So, Sherpa, we've got speed and health. Um, you need him to go fast so that he can heal everybody, give everyone speed up. Also, he's going to be fast through his basic. But the primaries you want on that circle, cross, and triangle for almost every Ewok, almost, is health, not protection. You do not want protection. You want health. Health primaries, health primaries, health primaries. I'll explain why in a moment. So here's Ewok Elder, we got Tenacity. I got one set and then two health sets. I almost wish I had two Tenacity sets on him because again, if he gets dazed, if he gets stunned, things start to fall apart. He is your primary driver of turn meter, him and Chirpa's leadership. Lagre, I've got some potency and, and four health sets or health mods. Again, I think I would like a second potency set on him, and I do have him modded wrong. I've got crit damage on his triangle and protection on his circle, and for a, at least a year and a half I've been wanting to change that, and I just always forget, because why not? They're, they're working as they are, but honestly you do want health on that triangle and circle, and you want potency on that cross. Um, you also want log rate to be as quick as you can. That's why I have high speed mods, secondaries on them, like 25, 19, 20. You really want them fast. Now, Wicket, Wicket's gonna have an incredibly high critical chance rate, just naturally baked into his kit, and he gets critical chance up or something, or bonus 50%. So you wanna go with crit damage on him as much as possible. Crit damage arrow, crit damage set, not arrow, uh, triangle, crit damage uh, set, and then I go with health. Do not put a crit chance on him, it's just a waste. Now, why health? Why do you want health primaries on all these Ewoks? Okay. Um, the reason you want health up is because the Ewoks have a whole lot of health synergies. Oh, Poplu, I missed Poplu, didn't we? Uh, Poplu, I actually have a modded for speed and uh, health. A lot of people will put defense on him, and I think that's a major mistake because he revives health and protection so fast, he doesn't need to avoid the damage. All right, here's why you need health. All allies recover 20% health uh, from Chirpa's first special. If you have protection on him, you don't recover much. You need health. The more health you have, the more you recover. Ewok Elder, his tribal healer, it's a first special. All Ewoks, Ewoks recover 20% of, or 30% of his max health. So the more health he has, the more he heals. Then his power, the forest where he revives, it, it says revive that ally at 40% of their health. Zero protection. So again, if you're putting protection primaries on him, you're not getting a benefit from Chirpa. You're not getting a benefit from Ewok Elder. And then Logre, I always have to hunt for it. Where is it here? Uh, nope, that's not at 20% turn meter, which is nice. Uh, Days the end. Nope, that's not it. Oh, it's in his, it's in his unique. Let's go to the unique. Uh, there it is. Um, all allies recover 10% health when they attack if they had health up. And of course he grants them health up, right? So it says, well, Logre is active. Whenever an Ewok ally uh, scores a critical hit, that ally gains health up, which I think is 25% bonus health. So again, if you have protection, you don't get anything out of Logre for it. And then Wicket, Wicket has uh, in his unique, uh, there, uh, at the bottom of it, it says all allies recover 4% health and 2% protection. So it's literally twice the health recovery than it is protection recovery. And if you if you think about like his tribal tech, uh, no, the forest ambush, if he gets five critical hits, and he should, then that's 20% health recovery uh, versus only 10% protection recovery. So again, you're reviving based on health, you're healing based on health, you're, you're the Ewoks want health, right? I hope this helps. Um, I really do. If it does, great. Let me know. And uh, I don't know when I'll post again because like I said, I'm visiting friends and family for the first time in a long time here in America. So thank you for watching and I will see you all later. Take care. Bye bye.